All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? ADS Play 101 here. The Collective, of course, you know, World Warriors Collective. If I can only get the the sign right, there we go, right there, boom. The Collective, WWC. That looks corny as hell, but you'll get used to it. But welcome to another episode of The Feels, my reaction series. Forgive me, I'm bleeding right there a little bit. Uh, if you guys seen my last video, I kind of had like a little scratch right there and um it healed up and i was kind of scratched it while recording and it started bleeding but not too disgusting but whatever the case may be I, i'm probably the only person that has not seen this mk11 rambo gameplay video yet i'm pretty sure you know my life is kind of hectic i'm always working so i don't have time to really sit down and see things like this so um luckily rambo is not officially out yet none of the characters that's in the new combat pack are out yet um, I think they get released like later on in November. I don't know when they're getting released. I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll announce it at the end of this when we're going to get any of them. <clears throat> but with that being said, let's uh, fire this up and uh, see what we're getting ourselves into. I, can't, I still can't believe they decided to add Rambo to this damn game. He wasn't a time traveler. Damn, Chronicle, you just pulling everything out your ass. Stab, stab, stab. Mm. Not bad. What kind of low, black ass drop kick was that? I wonder if that counts as a low hit. Ooh, that was hard. Wait, what the hell did he fall in? Oh, I, I'm not one of, I, I don't like to rewind things, but that one kind of caught my attention a little bit. Hold up. Oh, he fell in a trap. Oh, I see what that was. That was dope. I'm not going to pause it again. I just like to see that. Oh, that's hard. So you can duck under projectiles. A great deal. You love using that damn knife, though. Oh, we caught him with that? Nice. Whoa, shit. That was hard. See what this finisher look like. I thought what was going to happen was that it looked like a little a bomb arrow or something like that. Okay, that was kind of stupid for them to have that the camera that close. The upgrades are available. There's a new buyers on PlayStation 4 starting November 17th. So that's when we get into characters. But there's two things that I got to complain about. Okay, during the um, the fatality. This little prong right here. The one that looks like a little bomb or whatever. For whatever reason, I thought that was going to blow up. You know, I haven't seen Rambo in like hella years. So I don't really remember the movie. It's very vague. My memory of it is very vague. So I don't really know um, if that ever happened for real. I mean, I know the trap is a reference to is a movie reference, but I thought for whatever reason this thing right here was gonna blow up. I thought that would have been dope. Um, so because I was expecting that, this right here was underwhelming to me. It was very underwhelming, brutal but underwhelming. And then they got the outro. They did not have to keep the camera that damn close to his crooked ass mouth. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> they did not have to do that. They could have zoomed out. And got more shots of the, um, and got a, a broader view on him firing off the gun 
And I think that would have made for a more dynamic outro because you would have seen the gun flashing and the bullet shells falling off. I think that would have been much better. This just looks kind of cringeworthy. Unless you're just so much of a super fan of Sylvester Stallone's work and his legacy in the movie industry that you just, and, and as well as the movie Rambo, you can't see anything wrong with the shot being up this close. It looked like his tooth is chipped right there a little bit. But regardless, I think that was kind of like out of pocket. They could have fixed that. Um, next up, uh, we're checking out the actual gameplay video. I don't know if this is from... So, hold on. Let me back this up. So, I don't know if this is from a stream, which I believe it is from. But this is they're showing off the actual gameplay of... Rambo and how he's going to perform in uh, in Mortal Kombat 11. So we're going to take a look at this and then I'll give my opinion on uh, what it is. His kicks, his punches, that sort of thing. So he has this knife and he uses it in most of his moments. And you can see him there. I would say one thing that really stands out is I think they're pretty good. It's He's a close quarter character because, you know, it's not Turn this up a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can still hear me a little bit. And this one's fun because he literally uses a rock to flip off <laughs> which amuses me greatly. And then lastly, he has this drop kick, which is an overhead. It's pretty quick. That's an overhead? Hold on, wait, pause. Because we already got one problem with uh, Aaron Black doing that shit. Why is a low hit being counted as an overhead? That has to be one of the... Just... From a physical standpoint, that makes no fucking sense. Unless you're just trained to catch that shit in game, you're going to always think that's a low hit or mid hit. So you're going to crouch it thinking that you're supposed to, you know what I mean? You're going to crouch it thinking that maybe it's like going to be a low hit or a mid hit and it's going to catch you off guard in the heat of the moment because that damn show looks like a, you know, that, that looks like a mid hit. It doesn't look like an overhead. Why would they count that shit as an overhead? I never understood that. Even with Aaron Black and his running drop kick, I just that don't make sense to me. He has this drop kick, which is an overhead, it's pretty quick, and if he does two in a row, he gets a crushing blow. Then he has this throw, and it has a crushing blow with a really unique uh, condition. It's loaded if he has not been hit or jumped in ten seconds. So, yeah, and then you get to get to combo off that stun and then go through that. So it's not the traditional requirement. So first up, he uses his bow. It's a really fast, high projectile. And the cool thing is it's almost like a stance. He can fire multiple, up to three. He can let it go. He can just hang on it, wait a second, then shoot one. And none of that cops stand up, either defensive or offensive. And then he has this tripwire, which I think is like the crux of the space control. It's really fast. He has a close and far version. And it, it's low. It pretty much forces the opponent to walk in slowly, attempt to jump. Froze. Dashing is really risky. Basically, if they're moving, the stream they're itself going, froze. They're going to get knocked down, and then that sets up. You can either go in arrows. And this guy has a couple options. You can do it from really far by holding forward. You can actually roll backwards by holding back after, even on block, to make it hard to punish. It is an answer fight that does more damage with a crushing blow if he does it three times. Very similar to how Sub Zero moves by sliding. So, as we know, as Troutman explains, he's trained to eat stuff that make a Billy Goat puke. And in the game, we show that by an insect falls by and he actually eats it, and he kills that. And if his fatal blow is on a cooldown, it's a crushing blow of the Bug, which gives him hella energy back. The downside to this is, is if he eats too many, he just vomits and he's stun. So variation two, he can pull an M60 that he hit in the leaves off the ground. And that's hard. This is a very fast, but annoying. It's like a stream of bullets. And he also gets the same on line. And what's fun about this is once it's triggered, it can blow up either opponent, or either person, be it him or the opponent. He can put it down and it lasts for quite a long time. And if he amplifies it, he puts leaves over it so it's invisible. So there's fun stuff you can do. 
can put it down, let it sit there for a while, do your little setup, and then as soon as they forget about it, they get popped up. And then lastly, his uh, tripwire is replaced by this log trap. And it's pretty much the opposite of it. Instead of covering the ground, it covers the air. It'll still hit when it was standing, but it's also awesome for anti-air. Love these animations. So this one is like a grab version. He gets a couple of the strings that grab under us, and they are actual grabs, like if you're blocking in the trap. And then this one is a hit, but it is like a restand. So you can end your combo with it, and you'll be standing, and he gets an advantage. It also just looks really, really nasty. Then he gets a command grab. The cool thing is when he amplifies it, you can choose which way to throw you. And it has a crushing blow for punishing a wake up roll. So let's see, you try to get up, you don't want to deal with the setups, you roll, and oop, you get disemboweled. That's nasty. Which is really harsh for trying to roll out of the way. Again, I apologize for the fan in the background if it's too loud. Something up here for the next one. Yeah, unfortunately, forgot what I was cutting out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Combat roll. So this replaces the fly. And it's almost sort of like the reptile's elbow from Ultimate MK3. Uh, he goes past you, and then he has a couple of different options. You can do this quick slice, you can do a really fast overhead if he amplifies it, or you can just cancel it. And it's really, really quick and can be kind of hard to deal with. So the first thing is, you get this trip wire. And this is different than the other one. It sets up a combo if he amplifies it. There's no closer fire, it just it knows where the opponent is. It's pretty quick. And this is one of the main ways to get big combos with Rambo if you choose to use this. The second thing is the crawl, which I absolutely love. This is essentially a low stance. He has numerous moves from it. He has this quick slide. Then he has a grab. This is actually like a, a grab. If they're blocking, it'll hit them. And then he has a parry. And the parry's neat because it parries lows, mids, and highs. So if he's down in there, the opponent tries to hit him out of it, he can actually parry it. And then the parry and the throw have a crushing blow. If he crawls long enough, the low to him, and if he grabs you, he smashes your face then. Hmm. Not bad. I liked it. But here's the problem. Again, going all the way back to the beginning. Why in the hell is this drop kick considered a goddamn crushing blow? That's my only complaint with Rambo. I kind of like what I've seen. Of course, nothing is really definite until we actually see him in the actual game. Um, I'm pretty sure some... There are some players that are known to play Mortal Kombat that can really um, dominate with a character like Rambo. But I just feel like they're going to, since you can basically count when he gets a crushing blow. I don't really think that's really, like you just got to know when you got a crushing blow on some other characters. And I, don't, I, I haven't really heard even, you know, then again I haven't really been paying attention to any like... Uh, developer updates or anything like that on the game but i don't really think there's another way for you to count when you're going to get a crushing blow like that um it was a couple moves that she showed that she basically said like for example with the crawl just recently um when she said uh if you get like multiple i think like two drop kicks the third one is going to be a crushing blow indefinitely I don't think they, ha I don't, you know, I think they do, but I, maybe I just don't know. But some of the stuff just confuses the hell out of me only because, like, it's certain things that just don't make sense to me. Like, why would you make a character that has a mid hit count as an overhead? That's the only thing that kind of fucks me up. But other than that, I have no complaints about him. So let me guys know what you think. You guys like Rambo being in the game, I think. He sort of makes sense, you know what I mean? He's not as well placed in the game as, say, like, Freddy Krueger was in Mortal Kombat, what, 9? Even though I know he was supposed to be a joke character, he fits the game very well. 
Rambo, on the other hand, I guess he he it, it fits. I'm curious to see what his ending, what his arcade ending is going to be, as to how Kronika got him in this Mortal Kombat world, and why he he's there, and what his end game is going to be. Um, since he's in there, I know it's not all non-canon anyway, but it'll still be interesting to see. So, that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of the feels until next time remember be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy in battle